Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is the this is your boy Big West Rages, coming to y'all with another No Money Spent episode. I believe this is episode twelve. I'm gonna have to go check after this, but yeah, as you can see, it's a new season, new season, and with a new means new packs and a new theme. So I guess this this season, the theme is basically like. It's basically a copy and paste from season five last year. Like, it looks kind of anime thing. Like you see the background, and like he's by. I don't know. It looked like it, it's giving me Dragon Ball vibes, but it's still a copy and paste from last year. So, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but also it's kind of lazy. Because, like, last year, I mean, Age of Heroes was really good. So, let's just hope, you know, what is they calling this season? Hold on. Let me see what they call in this season. Oh, Power Within. Okay. So, this season is called Power Within. I have to check real quick. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm guessing... You know, we're going to start getting these holiday theme cards. Uh, not holiday, excuse me. These uh, anime theme cards or hero theme cards. And I'm actually kind of excited, but we're going we're gonna to talk about it in this episode. Because I, I wanted to make like a video about the new seasons, but I've been busy lately start my internship. I just helped my friend move yesterday. So it's, it's been a little busy. So and sorry about that. I, I, I was trying to make a video yesterday and Thursday, but I ain't find the time. So, yeah, let's just, let's, let's dive into the packs. And then we can just jump into everything. So, Kawhi, um, he dropped. He's really good. Shaquille O'Neal, real good. He moves crazy, but I, I believe his stamina is not the, good, the greatest. And he just can't shoot threes. I mean, you have to really, really know his jump shot. And his jump shot is so hard at the time. Yeah, you shooting threes. I'll leave him open all the time. Like it is what it is. Scotty Pippen, great card. I got him in my lineup. K. Cunningham, good card. You know what I mean? His defense for me, for me, feel like it's lacking, but he's six eight, and he moves. You know what I mean? So, Paul Gasol. You know I had to pick this man up. Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol, and Kobe Bryant. My one of my two favorite players of all time. I'm a Laker boy. I'm a Laker fan. So, I grew up watching them. So, I had to pick him up. Darren Williams, I picked him up just because I, I like Darren Williams. Lance Stevenson, great demon. Like, budget beast. I picked, his, um, picked him up for like two-something. Oh, my God. Y'all need to pick this card up. This card is amazing. Bobo, I still didn't pick him up. I'm trying to wait till his price drop because he's a diamond. Now, if he was a pink diamond... His price probably would not drop, especially if he was a Galaxy Oboard Dark Matter. But since he a diamond, I hope he, he could drop. But And I feel like they're going to start dropping crazy power forwards, you know. Um, Steven Adams, uh, hit his Isaac Bonga. You know, I had to pick him up. And, you know, the two rubies. It is what it is. Dynamic ratings. Basically, basically heat check packs. So don't. Don't sit there and spend all your MT and VC trying to get these cards. Unless you're going for the collector level. And which brings me into what I've been doing with my MT. As you can see, I'm down like, I was at 7.7 .7 or 7.8, I believe. One point I was at 8.3, but as you can see, my MT total. And as you can see, hold on. Oops, I didn't want to show that yet. Because I also got another, whoo, I pulled something last night. I wish I, I, I wish I clipped it, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for that. So, so what I've been doing with my MT, ah, y'all ain't see nothing. But yeah, yeah, y'all ain't see nothing. Y'all ain't see nothing. Y'all ain't see nothing yet. So, yeah, I bought these heat checks back. I was buying them for 1k and under. I uh, basically got all these back. Bought them for 1k and under. And my team base I'm trying to pick up the cards, but these root. 
Hold up. Hold up, hold up. These Ruby cards was actually kind of expensive. Okay, this is actually not expensive. I might as well do this right now. I gotta pick these cards up anyways. How much is this one? See, the prices are kind of... Ah, kind of steep. Let me see if it's a chip more cheaper. No, I'm gonna pick that one up. I'm gonna get a couple deals. Damn, no Gus Williams? No, I'm not paying that. See, what I do is, once I get start getting real close, like, once I start getting these packs right here, I mean, start getting these cards, what I do is, I then go back and get the expensive cards so I can just sell those expensive cards. I don't want to hold on to cards that's, that have value on them because the value is just going to drop. And sometimes, like, with these right here, they're so rare, it depends on when you sell it. You know, you know what I mean? Like, for example, this car, Cody. You might find this for 1K. Or you might find it for nobody. You ever, somebody's probably buying them, too. Or if not, they're trying to get over. But you probably could get this car for like 2K MT. You know what I mean? Now, he's so rare, he might be 7, 8K. You know what I mean? You buy that car, and they're like, damn, I could have bought him for 2K. So... Just be kind of, you know, skeptic about that. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to buy more of these right here. Also, I got to go on these premium sets. Because, I mean, I thought about it, right? I thought about it. I think I just need to go for it just for the Hall of Fame badges. Because, as you can see, we got to talk. I'm going to talk about this because this is a rage moment, right? I'm going to get Dark Matter Gary Payton, right? But I stopped here. For a reason. I saw that. Oh, my son's screaming in the background. I saw that. I didn't want this Paul Pierce. Like, they are. These mystery players that they're dropping are terrible. Now, not, not terrible. Carl Malone. I heard he's the best power forward in the game. You know what I mean? Play him at the power forward position. But for me, right? And for a lot of people, I don't want to play with a Carl Malone. Carl Malone. Literally is a rapist. Like, oh, can I see even say that word? Can I even say that word? It is what it is. He is what he is. Carl Malone was a child P word. So I don't want I don't want Carl Malone. But I'ma use him. When I get here, I'ma use him and I might just chalk it up. I, I might run him off my bench. I write I might run him off my bench. Excuse me, I feel like I feel like I can't speak today. My mouth dry. But Carl Malone, I'm run him, I'm gonna run him off my bench because it's no way I'm about to sit there and run with that card. Alex English is so disappointing, man. So disappointing. Because I still have to cl collect a thousand cards. So I might be at five million MT when I get right here. But then after that, I don't but then my thing is I'm going to have to sell everything back just to buy it again. And I don't feel like doing that. I, I, I am looking forward to this Clyde. But for some reason, they didn't release them yet. I thought they released the stats and stuff, but they didn't yet. So I'm only going for these 80 Hall of Fame badges. Because cards are only still getting 22. They might get 40 eventually. But if they get 40, like, bruh, I could literally make 80 Hall of Fame badge, especially on cards that can get every badge. I can make them so souped with it. You know what I mean? I can make so much MT. So that's the way I'm looking at it. So I might could just recoup all my MT back and I collected the cards all the way. And also I'm looking at it as it's nothing else to do in the goddamn game. Because I'm a I'm a we're gonna dive right into it. This is a perfect transition. It's nothing to do in this game. Cause look, the best re re damn you keep seeing him. That's that's that was supposed to be a surprise, but act like y'all didn't see him. But Cincinnati Powell, right? I hope Cincinnati's Powell, bruh. He is probably the best the best small four in the game. Maybe he might be the best car in the game. His stats, everything, oh my god, this is the best unlimited reward we probably ever got. 
but this is a big ass but because this this is this is going to affect people like me and other people so unlimited became probably is already a terrible game mode i tell you why i'm not a bum at this game right look i go on triple that online I am 433 and 50. I'm pretty sure it's, it's, I, I won more than that. I'm not no slouch on this game. Look at my clutch time record. Like, but unlimited? Oh, my God. When I say I was trying to do challenges last, I mean, uh, before the new season started, right? When I say I went 0 and 6. All close games, except for one. One dude, for some reason, had, he was in showdown here, I believe. And this motherfucker, you know, he beat my ass. I'm I'm a, I'm going to have to say it like that, he beat my ass. But all of my games that I went 0-6 was close games where I was losing by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know what I mean? Like, bruh. These games are so fucking, t it's so terrible. Like, it's no way y'all put SBMM, skill-based matchmaking. Y'all need to take that crap out the game. Because I know they're saying, well, you don't just, well, you don't want to face, I'd rather face a couple demons on this game. I'd rather face a couple splashes. You know what I mean? But at the same time, face people who's terrible at this game that's because that way i get a chance bro i'm not about to sit here and play 60 games for this man and it like it's probably not 60 it's probably less than that but i don't know but i'm not about to sit here and sweat my life out and get bro when i play this mode i feel like i'm a terrible person to my like when i i don't want nobody talking to me i don't want my kids talking to me i don't want my girl talking to me talking to me this game mode is so toxic it's so i don't play it for that reason i don't play it because i don't like what it do to me what it do to me it makes me man what it do to me is it, it makes me uh i don't i don't it don't make me a good person i don't like playing this mode and that's real shit and people don't want to admit that games can make you terrible like like uh, to people around you especially if you playing like if you playing competitive like this shit, this shit is a competitive mode. This is pro shit. This is shit, bruh. Splash went like fucking. Man, this man was like he didn't even lose. I either face a couple dudes like him and then face a couple, you know what I mean, a couple terrible people. That way it feels like I'm not facing dudes while I'm I have yo. It's a close game, all game, and it's basically this game. It's not even meant to be played pro like that at a competitive level. Because when you think about it, people on my level, right? It's a close game throughout the game, right? Throughout the whole game. But in the fourth quarter, he got blessed and I got, you know, I got shitted on. That's how this game mode work. Y'all need to realize that. This this is how this game mode work. This is how this gameplay work. You could be, like, real close to each other, right? Excuse me, my mouth is kind of dry. Y'all could be, you know, going back and forth. But then the last one minute of the game, two minutes of the game, he's getting blessed with free throws. And you just getting crapped on. You can't even, you can't even, you can't even uh, get a free throw. He shot 10 free throws in the fourth quarter. You shot zero. He got five offensive, all, like seven offensive rebounds. I got like two. Also, one game I had in my losing streak before the new season started, right? When I say this man got y'all can y'all can check my Twitter. Y'all can go back on my Twitter. This man got eight chase down blocks in the first freaking quarter. He was up by 20 something. Because of those, bruh. He probably would have been up anyways, but not by that much. It probably would have been like a four-point game. Because I closed it to six towards the end. He he wound up beating me by what? 10 points or something, 12, by close to the 6. Bruh, like, 8 chase down blocks. I only stayed in the game because I was doing challenges. So I needed to play unlimited games, 5 unlimited games, 
for the Beyond Level 40. So that's why this game mode is not for. Don't look. I'm I'm gonna tell y'all good advice. This power might be good, and you might be missing out. But they're gonna release another demon, probably in packs. So if you got the MT, go go get them in packs, bro. And if you can't get them, it's Lance Steven. Lance Stevenson is a god. Like he's good. They're gonna release good cards. Don't 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 trip over trying to get this card, right? Now let's move on. Limited is probably the only good game mode, good reward to me. I love the Marcus Cousins. I had the pink diamond. I love. I hope he's a. I gotta look at his stats. I didn't look at it. I hope it's not disappointing and kind of a copy of the pink diamond. I hope he's like way better. I know that he's not gonna be way better because two K is two K. They love doing shit crap like that. Even though he's a two overall, you know what I mean. I hope they put those stats and and stuff that matters. But I love the Marcus Cousins on this game. I hope he got a quick jump, especially if he got a quick jump shot. Yo, I'm using him. He's my starting part. He's my st he's my starting center. I don't care. I don't care who come out. He's six ten. I don't care. He's he got a big player build. He gets rebounds. He gets blocks. He get up like he did. The pink diamond didn't even have the best of stats for a center, but he was my starting center for a while. So I'm getting him. But the the problem is this this brings me back to why it's nothing to do in the game. That's why I'm going for the collector level. Limited is for the weekend. That's it. Right? Nothing to do on a weekday. Unlimited. Don't play it because shitty game mode. Triple that online. RNG. You're not going to get the card. Crappy card. Draft mode is the only... They actually put a decent reward on there. But he's decent. He's decent. Like, give us good cards. Like, I, I guarantee nobody would have been mad if they would put a... Bro, they could have gave us a dark matter. You know what I mean? A dark matter. Uh, let me look at these packs right here. They could have gave us a dark matter Paul Gasol, or they could have gave us a Galaxy Opal Paul Gasol. And I'm using that card. I'm using that card. Like I would. Sorry for the noise in the background. I got kids. It is what it is. They could have gave us a Galaxy Opal Paul Gasol, right? And I'm telling y'all, I'd have been grinding that mode out because I love Paul Gasol. Give us a Galaxy Opal Darren Williams. I'm telling you, people would have grinded the mode for a, a Galaxy Opal Darren Williams. A Lance Stevenson. A Galaxy Opal get Lance Stevenson. He's already a budget demon. But put him in the fucking, put him in one of these modes. And I'm telling you, people going to get him. But no, 2K like to just shit on the no money spent players. They love to just crap on us, man. And look, I got a lot of MT, so it's, it's not really affecting me. But the people who don't make the MT like me, even though I'm making these, I make videos explaining how to do it, like in my normally spent videos, how to do the shoe boost. Right now, the shoe boosts are down, so I went, I, I recommend buying and just waiting. It happens every time a new season starts, because remember, there's a lot of shoe boosts everywhere, because it's, it's like, it's like rewards everywhere in the start. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, like that's another, I'll get that, I'll get into that a little bit, but yeah, like, like clutch time. And, and this brings me to fuck. Hmm. This man got 69 speed. I think it's a 69. It's under 70 speed. He's shorter than Yao Ming, but barely faster than him. Ah, damn, my kids were screaming. I'm sorry. But El well, I'm never going to say his name. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Are they serious? Are y'all serious, 2K? Like, w w please show me. Here we go. So you get Colby for 10 wins. Hurt is not that good. You get a Steve Smith. I guess that's decent for 50 wins. But then you got... You got this bum. You got this bum. Bro, he 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 might be like the the Sabonis and shit. But bruh. We shouldn't be getting centers with 60 something speed. Sean Kemp, I think, is really good. I really want to get that Sean Kemp. But again, guess what? RNG. 
RNG. So it's nothing to do. It's nothing to do because I'm not playing Clutch Time. Especially, I might grind it a little bit. Like, I mean, I'm not fucking grinding like I did the other season. So I get Reggie, the, the Clutch Time board, and trying to get, you know, Pascal or uh, Damian Lillard. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. This is going to be the slow. This is going to be slow time. Like, I'm going to take that. I might play only two games a day. The way I'm feeling. Draft, I might try. I'm giving this a shot. I actually drafted the team. Terrible team. Well, it's a good team, except for my small forward. I have to try to, like, cheese that position because, oh, my God, my small forward position suck. But draft might be the only playable middle right now because nobody really want to get the Sharif. Like, I wanted Kazi. I played 433 games all together, and I seen... I only seen, like, I did not get a lot of these rewards that came out. I basically only got three. I got Dan Nissel, I got Keith Van Horn, and I got the Gus Gerard. That's only three out of what? How many fucking players drop a season? We're already in the fifth season. Ten. I think, like, ten total. I got three out of ten, bro. 433 games. But really... With this, you get ball drops, so basically 433 plus 50. Now, it's more than that. I played like 250 last season. So I so it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm also – so, again, let me – so I'm going to just – we don't have to keep talking about that, but that's, it, that's, that's the reason why I'm going for a collector level. There's nothing else to do. And I want the 80 Hall of Fame badge pack. Because I can do a lot of shit with that. I probably can make a lot of MT with that. That's the only reason why I'm going for collector level anyways. Because as you can see, the rewards suck. Oh yeah, triple threat. Terrible. Bruh, you release a a 6'1 point guard. 6 foot point guard. Y'all just dropped K. Paul Millsap. I liked this card last year. But come on. Paul Millsap for... Winning, what, 33 full games? Five-minute quarters? No, the only reason why you go for that is for collector level and the Hall of Fame badge, badges. I think you get you get brick wall, catch and shoot, and triple threat juke, which are not the best badge. The only, you only want to go get it for either catch and shoot or brick wall, but really just brick wall. Got some challenges, whatever. You know, standard procedure. So... You know, it, like, let's 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 get into a different topic. So, auction outcomes. I got eighty of them, bitches, right? So, also, what I've been doing, I, I didn't make a video about it. Okay, you already see the Kawhi. Let me just explain this. I actually got this Kawhi off of a free challenge pack. If you don't believe me, check my Twitter. Check my Twitter, and you'll see. You'll see that, that I pulled it on. Check my Twitter. I'll leave my Twitter down in the description so you can see. So, okay. As you can see, I got 28 Hall of Fame badges. I put Teardropper. I know shitty badge. Rim Protector. Box. Uh, Unpluckable, which is a good badge. Clutch Shooter. You know, it's terrible. And Hazel Hunter, which is actually a good badge. Yep, I added those badges. And I might sell them. I might keep them. I'm torn. I either can get, I hope I can get six, seven hundred k because of rim protector, and since he got twenty eight Hall of Fame badges, so I might sell him. I don't know yet. So either you're gonna see a video tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You'll know by tomorrow if I sold him. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. You'll know by tomorrow if I sold him. Uh, let me just tell you, I did my challenge. Yeah, I did it. So here you go. That's why. If that's not, if that's not enough proof, go check my Twitter. So. Okay, so you see my team already. This is my team. I, you know, I'm sorry too. I, I'm not more hyped because I was hyped yesterday. I wish I, I I didn't think about recording it and like and making it good. I did have it recorded a little bit. You know, I could have like saved the clip. You know what I mean? And just made it like a small short on my thing. But my fan was on, so the, the mic was horrible. I don't know how to mute it. So it is what it is. So. Uh, who can I put in here? Small forward. What am I doing? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is my team. Uh, also, okay, you see those cards right there. Damn. Uh, 
don't know who the fuck I wanna put in. Oh, where's Lance at? Where Lance at? He a diamond. I'm putting him in. Bro, he's good. He's great. So, that's my team. Uh, and as you can see, I was buying cards. Like, I actually had um, Donovan Mitchell up here. And I planned on locking in three of these sets for a total of 150 apiece. So, that's 150, 300, 450. But, when I saw that they didn't release a Dark Matter token, which, token reward, which, this is another rent right here, right? I'm going to just quickly go over it. 2K do not give a fuck. Like, it, it is what it is. I'm sorry I keep cussing. They do not give a crap, right? All of these rewards. Marcus Gasol is decent, right? But he, they just released a Paul Gasol. There's no need to get this mark. In my opinion, you don't need to get that mark. Pink Diamond. Sean Elliott was pretty good. I picked him up. And I just picked up some dude Diamond. I was just picking these up to get that Unicorn Ball. So, the only thing I need to pick up is these Pink Diamonds. I'm not in a rush to get the Unicorn Ball. Like, I just don't want to spend my my tokens on cards I'm not going to use. Like, how about if they drop, like, five really good Pink Diamonds? And they might, but my thing is they might not do it. Like, they did. Like, remember when they released, like... A couple at a time. Like, I remember we got D'Angelo Russell, John B, and some other dudes at the same time in the Pink Diamond market. But, again, they keep shitting on us, bro. They keep. They keep doing it, man. These tokens are getting more useless each year. Like, they are. And they didn't even update this shit, man. They don't care, bro. And F everybody who, who keeps saying this, 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 this season is a dub. It's only a dub... Because they release good packs, man. And that shouldn't even... that shouldn't We shouldn't even call that a dub. They making money off that crap. Like, bro, it's not a dub. These rewards are ass. And even if they wasn't, it's still RNG. Come on, man. Y'all be sucking. And this is offending you? I don't care. You part of the problem. Y'all are enabling 2K to keep doing crap like this. If y'all didn't enable 2K, they wouldn't release these cards. If we got on them, they wouldn't release a, a crappy clutch time reward. They wouldn't make RNG worse from last year. How do RNG get worse? It felt like it just got worse on a whole new level. It's like whatever they coded and programmed into the game made RNG worse. So come on now. So also I got, so, I just want to get into this. I sold my Lamelo. Remember, this is the Lamelo I had. I bought for one ten. Sold for hundred three. We're gonna redeem it. I bought Carl Anthony Towns for hundred k. Sold him back. It is what it is. I, I thank God I did that because you know what I mean he dipped in price. Lamelo. I bought him for fifty with with blinders. So this is a L. And also, I made some terrible mistakes on this last promo. All star. I lost so much MT, bro. Zach Levine, I bought for 110, so I'm for 50. I lost 60K. No, you're going to see Nikola Jokic in a few. Bought for 69, sold him for like 30. 40K right there. So already I lost 100K. And Carmelo, I lost 30K. So 130K total. It is what it is. When you got MT, you got to spend it to make, you know what I mean? You just got to spend it to have fun. It is what it is. But yeah, so as you can see, Yep, Jared Allen, I bought him for like 30 something, bought him, sold him back. These new balances. Remember, I told y'all I was buying these for like 3K and under. And as you can see, I already doubled my profit or tripled my profit. Or quadrupled it. You know what I mean? Donovan Mitchell, I sold him back because he, had, he was at a good price to sell. Zach Levine. Remember, I lost so much of T. I feel hurt. Oh, yeah, I sold a lot of Bucks players, as you can see in my collection, because. This man right here. This man. Do they did they fix his picture? This man right here. Yep, you see him. Also, I, I you know I gotta I gotta figure out how do I save my gameplay and and make videos and shit because I actually pulled him on my first ascension board. My first. I got so lucky, bro. I had one pick at the last the last tier board and I got him. No joke. Level five. Got him. <laughs> I don't know how, but last year, I nobody got mo. Like, come on. So this man right here, I sold, um, yeah, all my Bucks players, except for a few. I should have sold all of them. It is what it is. Uh, so I made MC that way, too. So I just want to redeem all this. Let's start with the Bucks. 
Probably made a lot of them too. Did I just quick so? Oh, I saw my LeBron James. I bought that for like 29. So, again, another All Star promo that I lost a lot of MT on. Derek Harrison sold him. And there we go. Well, my, oh, my God. I, I didn't notice my MT total for a minute. And all of these right here. I made a lot of MT. I might be at close to three. No, I'm not going to be at two. Probably. Might be at close to three. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm close. I'm close. So yeah, I probably would have been at eight point something. But again, I'm trying to go for collector level, so I'm not trying to go under six mil. But to get the thousand cards, I need to get Carl or to get Alex. Ah, uh, I might need to spend a lot. So. Ah, uh, it is what it is. I think I quick sold something. Yeah, my quick sold Bucks player L. Yeah, so right now I'm at. I'm at 2600. So it is what it is. So. Here we go. I'm just going to open these. I know I'm opening these packs. Also, I'm, I'm trying to get the unicorn ball. So I'm going to just open these real quick. Galaxy Opal Sydney. He's gonna be my backup. And no, he's gonna be my starting. He's gonna be my starting. I heard he's so good. So it is what it is. I know he's only like 6'3, so. Alright, his defense go crazy. Let me go over his uh thing right now. Oh, well, I gotta go over it. And I'm never gonna use this cow. I don't know who will. Again. Another reward that's trash, but it is what it is. It's a dub, y'all. It's a dub. This season's a dub, y'all. You know, it's a fuck. It's a freaking dub. Uh, it's just I don't I don't understand 2K logic. They need to have somebody from the community actually like talk to them. Them shoes are fire though. I like the shoes. And yeah, that's really it. I mean. These packs are nothing. These 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 packs is really nothing. So I open that on my own time. So I know this video is long, y'all. I'm sorry. You know, sorry. It's not really gameplay. I, I might really have to try to get a couple gameplays in. But this is my team. Oh, right, where he at? Where he at? Where is he at? Let's go over him real quick. Six three, which is a hindrance. He only got an eighty four three. But if you boost that to an eighty seven, then plus five Steph Curry. Driving dunk 85, wish he had better. I mean, they say he a demon, but I mean, yeah, he a demon. Let me stop. 17 clamps. Quick first step. Oh, he don't get range. You gotta give him range. I know that range gonna be high as hell. Well, that's it for me, y'all. Again, this season overall is just meh. Very meh. Because the reward cards, bro, I believe reward cards are a big thing. And if your reward cards for the season is terrible, you, you don't have a good season, in my opinion. You can, you can release the best cards and packs if y'all want to. Y'all gave me a free fucking Kawhi. Sorry, I keep cussing, but y'all gave me a free Kawhi. And, this, and I still think this season is a, is a L. It's a L. It's a cool looking theme. But come on, I can't be the only one to, 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 to think that, yo, y'all got to give us better rewards. Y'all got to. I don't give a, like, you can be like, oh, that's ungrateful. Anybody who say I'm being ungrateful or, or, or I'm just trying to troll some or trying to just be negative, you are part, you are part of the problem. Why 2K is just going to keep doing what they do because you enable them to keep doing what they do and not try to improve the game for the overall experience for everybody. Not just you that spend millions of dollars, not millions, but freaking thousands of dollars each year on packs. So you can go kiss my ass. How about that? So I don't give a crap who it is. So if you know somebody who, 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 who would say that to me, or be like, I'm being too negative, they can kiss my ass. 
That's what it is. Kiss my hairy ass. That's what you can do. But hope I don't get them. I mean, I'm a small YouTube channel. What are they gonna do? Take the video down. But it is what it is. But yeah, that's it for me, y'all. I'm a little mad. I'm upset that this season could be so much better if they give us better rewards. But it is what it is. Huh. It is what it is. I didn't even go over this. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just. It is what it is. I mean, y'all already know what this is. I really don't even have to go over this. Ray Allen. He's decent, but already I got Kawhi. No need for Ray Allen, right? Again. <laughs> Bruh. Level 40s. That's another video. Come on. I already made a video like that. Come on, man. Come on. Last year was fire. This year, they just said epic. Come on, man. Whatever. The only thing that you really want is this badge. These badges. So that's it for me, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out to the video. Sorry I cuss. Sorry. You know, I'm not going to be sorry that I'm being too negative. I don't care. If you don't like it, you just don't like it. Sorry. Not even sorry. But it is what it is. So, yeah, that's it for me, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just irritated. I, I see y'all. I see y'all next time in the next episode. Thank y'all for coming out. Y'all, y'all like these videos. Like, you know, subscribe. You know, what I mean, leave a comment if you want. And I see y'all next time. And I believe in episode 13. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.